Hey, everyone! Today, we're diving into one of the most shocking films I've seen in a long time. It's bold, gruesome, and let's just say not a movie you'll want to eat during. We're talking about The Substance, directed by Corey Lee Farah, who you might know from her debut film Revenge, a personal favorite of mine. Her latest project is a wild ride, and trust me, you won't be ready for where it takes you. The Substance follows the story of a fading celebrity who's desperate to hold on to her youth. Sound familiar? But here's the twist she turns to an underground, experimental drug that lets her physically transform into a younger version of herself. It's temporary, but the consequences? Anything but. Now, if you're thinking this is just another run-of-the-mill sci-fi thriller, think again. This movie is intense. It gets under your skin, literally. Lee Farah pushes the limits of body horror, and trust me, it's not for the faint of heart. From the very first scene, you'll realize that the substance isn't here to play it safe. Think David Cronenberg's style body horror twisted, grotesque, and absolutely unforgettable. You feel every transformation, every mutation. The practical effects alone will make your stomach churn, so if you're one of those brave souls watching in a dine-in theater, maybe think twice before ordering that burger. But this movie is more than just shock value. Beneath the unsettling imagery lies a powerful message about beauty, age, and the impossible standards society sets, especially for women. Our protagonist is battling more than just her decaying career. She's fighting her own reflection and the desperate need to stay relevant in an industry obsessed with youth. And that pressure? It's real. You see it every day on social media, in Hollywood heck, even in your own life. The film taps into that fear in such a raw, uncomfortable way. One of the most striking moments for me was when she's staring into a mirror, trying to convince herself that this younger version is better. It's both heartbreaking and terrifying, especially when you realize it's a feeling many can relate to. Now let's talk about the real scene stealer, the villain. Dennis Quaid absolutely nails his role as a slimy, manipulative producer. And get this? His character's name? Harvey. Yeah, you're not gonna miss the not-so-subtle jab at a certain disgraced Hollywood mogul. Quaid's performance is chilling, and he perfectly captures everything we despise about the toxic side of celebrity culture, the exploitation, the lies, the pressure to be forever young. And the world of the substance is almost fantastical in its exaggeration of Hollywood's obsession with youth, fame, and beauty. But in a weird way, that heightened reality makes the horror feel all the more real. Because once you hit a certain age, you're no longer the star you're forgotten, cast aside. And that fear of being erased? That's what drives the film's central conflict. What really stands out in this film, though, is how it puts you in the mind and body of the main character. The sound design alone is enough to make your skin crawl. Every creak, every slither, every change in her body is amplified, making you feel like you're experiencing it right alongside her. At certain points, you can see the world through her eyes, and let me tell you it's not pretty. And speaking of performances, Demi Moore and Margaret Qualley are absolutely phenomenal. They play two versions of the same character and their chemistry? Off the charts. Watching them struggle with their identity, beauty, and self-worth is captivating and at times, deeply unsettling. It's more than just physical horror, it's psychological too. You can't help but feel for them, even as their actions make you cringe. But the film isn't perfect. Some critics say it tries to do too much switching between grotesque horror and deep emotional beats. But honestly, I think that's part of its charm. Life's messy. Our relationship with our bodies is messy. Some days, we feel great about ourselves and other days, not so much. The substance reflects that, showing us both the beauty and the horror of what it means to grow older in a world that worships youth. To sum it up, the substance is an unforgettable experience. It's disturbing, it's thought-provoking, and it's going to stay with you long after you've seen it. But I don't say I didn't warn you. If you've got a weak stomach, maybe leave the snacks for another movie. Thanks so much for watching. 
If you liked this review, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell so you don't miss any of my deeds into the Laetus films. Got thoughts on the substance? I'd love to hear them drop a comment below and let's talk. Until next time, stay spooky, stay curious, and keep watching!